The unexpected impacts of coffee on the body may defy common beliefs. The advantages of coffee are extensive, with reports suggesting that it diminishes the risk of prostate cancer, shields the liver from cirrhosis, and enhances cognitive functions among the elderly. However, a significant issue arises, the varying qualities of coffee production today. Each system or alteration can drastically alter the levels of caffeine and polyphenols present. This video explores the impact of coffee on your health, discussing whether it's beneficial or harmful. It delves into the best ways to consume coffee, including whether it should be enjoyed with milk. Additionally, it addresses common concerns such as its effect on iron absorption in cases of deficiency, its impact on gastroesophageal reflux, and its relation to conditions like depression, epilepsy, and schizophrenia. Moreover, it clarifies whether coffee poses any risks for individuals with that condition such as glaucoma. Until a few years ago, there was a widespread belief that coffee was universally beneficial for health. There were studies extolling its virtues and numerous articles detailing its myriad benefits. However, upon closer examination, it became apparent that these conclusions were merely based on associations and failed to establish a clear cause and effect relationship between coffee consumption and health benefits. Organs This effect is temporary, similar to how blood vessels constrict during exercise. The alternation between constriction and dilation of blood vessels is actually beneficial in the long term. Indeed, caffeine has been associated with the management of hypertension, underscoring its potential health-promoting effects. Coffee and polyphenols, however, the process of constricting and dilating blood vessels is beneficial, much like how caffeine has been associated with the management of hypertension. This is largely attributed to the presence of polyphenols in coffee, which serve as antioxidants. Among these polyphenols, chlorogenic acid stands out as a key component, enabling us to combat inflammation and neutralize free radicals. Regrettably, not all coffees are created equal, and certain aggressive roasting techniques can result in the loss of anti-inflammatory properties. The degree of roasting directly impacts the antioxidant content, with darker roasts containing fewer antioxidants compared to lighter roasts. Nevertheless, polyphenols remain unaltered during the decaffeination process of coffee, making decaffeinated coffee an excellent option for maintaining its antioxidant activity. Effect of milk on coffee, do you prefer your coffee black? Or do you enjoy adding a splash of milk? Unfortunately, according to this study, even just a teaspoon of coffee mixed with 17 milliliters of milk, releasing the polyphenols for absorption, coffee and iron absorption. Another significant aspect of coffee is its ability to reduce iron absorption. In fact, according to this study, adding coffee to a meal can decrease iron absorption by 39%. This effect is not observed if you drink coffee an hour before the meal. However, if you consume it even an hour after, the effect persists because it typically takes about two hours for the stomach to empty after eating. Therefore, if you suffer from anemia or iron deficiency for various reasons, you should exercise caution with coffee or avoid caffeinated beverages altogether. However, while iron is essential for the proper functioning of several bodily processes, excess iron can be truly harmful. Often, an excess of iron can cause symptoms similar to those of a deficiency. Consequently, there's a risk of mistakenly taking iron supplements when actually needing to reduce iron levels. When iron accumulates in the body, it has a proxidant effect, essentially causing our bodies to rust. Studies have indicated that elevated ferritin levels in the blood are associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Additionally, this negative impact of excess iron on health is supported by research linking it to greater Alzheimer's issues in a reduction in DNA telomeres. In fact, for individuals suffering from gout, Adding coffee to reduce iron absorption has been shown to decrease inflammatory attacks associated with excess uric acid in the joints. Therefore, if you have gout, using coffee to reduce iron absorption may be beneficial. Coffee and mortality. Is it accurate to say that coffee consumers live longer lives? According to a systematic review of available literature, there seems to be a positive correlation between coffee consumption and increased life expectancy. However, this correlation is not consistent across all age groups. For individuals under the age of 55, there appears to be an inverse correlation, suggesting that excessive coffee consumption may lead to a shorter lifespan. Recently, a comprehensive study analyzed various populations and revealed that the perceived advantage of coffee in reducing mortality cannot conclusively be claimed to extend life or decrease the likelihood of death. However, let's focus on the key findings, the main problem with coffee, caffeine. What is the primary concern regarding coffee? 
The main issue with coffee is its widespread consumption, driven by its key component, caffeine. Caffeine, increasingly present in energy drinks targeting younger demographics, acts as a neurostimulant. However, its long-term health effects are a matter of concern. Caffeine and adenosine. In reality, caffeine works by inhibiting and competing with adenosine, a natural substance produced by our bodies too. Signal fatigue. Adenosine levels are typically low in the morning but rise gradually as we stay awake, signaling that we need rest or sleep. However, when caffeine is consumed, it inhibits adenosine's effects. The sympathetic nervous system becomes overactive, causing the heart rate to accelerate, blood vessels to constrict, and the brain to activate. This is why caffeine and coffee have been celebrated since the Industrial Revolution for their ability to enhance concentration and productivity, enabling people to work more efficiently. The primary concern arises from the fact that with increased caffeine consumption to block adenosine receptors, adenosine accumulates between neurons. As the body adapts to adenosine no longer having its usual effect on the receptors due to their coverage by caffeine, more adenosine receptors are gradually formed over time. Caffeine withdrawal Consequently, when caffeine levels in the body drop, these newly available adenosine receptors become active, leading to the onset of caffeine withdrawal symptoms. This can manifest in various symptoms such as headaches, stomach discomfort, and the common mid-afternoon drowsiness and lethargy experienced by many. Additionally, caffeine is known to be linked with an uptick in gastroesophageal reflux, although this effect is observed similarly with decaffeinated coffee as well, caffeine and health issues. However, certain studies indicate a correlation between caffeine intake and a heightened risk of incontinence in both genders. Moreover, extensive analyzes such as the 2014 meta-analysis underscore a direct association between caffeine consumption and insomnia. Individuals with glaucoma are strongly advised to steer clear of caffeine as its impact on the circulatory system could exacerbate their already elevated intraocular pressure. These findings highlight the potential issues stemming from excessive caffeine consumption. Caffeine and insomnia, insomnia, or difficulty falling asleep, is widely acknowledged. In a documented case, it was noted that eliminating coffee and caffeine from an individual's diet reduced the frequency of their epileptic seizures and related epilepsy issues. Excessive caffeine consumption can also lead to tachycardia, characterized by a rapid heartbeat, as caffeine can trigger adrenaline production and stimulate the nervous system, caffeine, and heart issues. However, if you're concerned about potential heart issues or atrial fibrillation stemming from caffeine intake, a systematic review of the literature offers reassuring findings. It suggests that there's no established association between caffeine consumption and atrial fibrillation. In fact, in certain circumstances, Consuming two or three cups of coffee per day may even be protective, reducing the risk of atrial fibrillation. The dangers associated with excessive caffeine consumption are serious. Research has indicated that the maximum lethal amount of caffeine, which can be fatal for a boy or a young man, may be approximately 12 cans of energy drinks. Summary of coffee effects To summarize, coffee contains polyphenols that can help reduce blood pressure, inflammation, and oxidative stress. However, it also contains caffeine, which can affect tiredness levels, constrict blood vessels, and potentially lead to various health issues such as glaucoma, incontinence, and central nervous system disorders. Despite this, coffee may have a protective effect on liver cirrhosis and can also benefit conditions like Parkinson's disease. Additionally, athletes may experience improved weightlifting ability with the consumption of coffee. Differences in caffeine metabolism Variations in caffeine metabolism are significant. The ability to metabolize caffeine differs greatly among individuals due to genetic variations. Some individuals metabolize caffeine quickly, while others do so slowly. This diversity in metabolism distinguishes between coffee that may be beneficial and coffee that may pose risks. Research has examined the relationship between caffeine consumption and the likelihood of developing hypertension. It suggests that the more coffee consumed, the greater the risk of hypertension. However, for slow caffeine metabolizers, increased coffee intake may lower the risk of hypertension, whereas fast metabolizers may experience different effects. On one hand, for every cup of coffee consumed by a slow metabolizer, the risk of heart attack doubles. On the other hand, for a fast metabolizer, one cup of coffee a day halves their risk of heart attack. Conclusion. Therefore, coffee offers numerous benefits if your body efficiently metabolizes and eliminates caffeine. However, it's advisable to avoid consuming coffee with added milk or overly roasted coffee.
as these may lack nutrients. Conversely, if your body metabolizes caffeine poorly and it remains in your system for an extended period, it can lead to issues such as insomnia, cardiovascular problems, hypertension, and an elevated risk of heart attack. Despite general recommendations to limit coffee intake to 3 or 4 cups per day, individual tolerance levels may vary. This video has shed light on the limitations of general guidelines, highlighting that they may not apply universally due to significant individual differences and variations in coffee types. For some individuals who metabolize caffeine quickly, coffee can be beneficial, while for others who metabolize it slowly, coffee and caffeine may pose risks. Certain types of coffee, particularly those lightly and quickly roasted, are rich in polyphenols, offering anti-inflammatory benefits. Conversely, heavily roasted coffee loses its polyphenol content, diminishing its expected effects. Adding milk may eliminate the anti-inflammatory effect, but this effect persists when using soy milk. Evaluation of Caffeine Metabolism Assessing caffeine metabolism, decaffeinated coffee emerges as a favorable option by eliminating caffeine, which offers limited health benefits. Decaffeinated coffee becomes an appealing alternative. Moreover, when roasted optimally as detailed earlier, it retains its polyphenol content, ensuring its healthful properties. We encourage you to assess your own caffeine metabolism. If you find yourself addicted to coffee, unable to function without it, and relying on it to wake up every morning, it may not be a good sign. Conversely, if you have a good metabolism that still leaves you feeling sleepy even after consuming coffee, perhaps you're fortunate and can indulge in as much coffee as you desire. Leave a comment about your health odyssey, so we can share and help each other along our journey towards a healthy life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.